Well, today I'll be working on the head, and I've got it, the camera attached to the, the uh, base, or the uh, sculpting stand, so that I can uh, focus in on the face alone. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole process, but I'm going to show you enough that uh, it'll entertain. Uh, the whole process is on a couple of my DVDs, uh, my instructional DVDs, and uh, I'm just not going to give that information away. Anyway, let's get started. I got the uh, head on the wire. That's the nice thing about these true form armatures, you can take the uh, head right off the wire and work on it by itself. Time to play with some clay.
what I'm attempting to do, he was the Lamb of God. He was the only begotten Son of our Father in Heaven. And like the symbolic sacrifices made in the temple with an unblemished lamb, he had to be unblemished as well and without sin. The devil tried to tempt him when he was in the desert fasting and he withstood it. Let me put it on his body right now and see what it looks like. I want to give him an authoritative look, but I want it to be a gentle authoritative. I want him to be the kind of person you'd want to be around. And that's going to be a hard thing to do. I think I'm capable of it, but I don't know. And it's really just my interpretation. I mean, really, nobody knows what he really looked like. We assume what he may have looked like. because it fits the body type that I've got right now. He's uh, about seven and a half heads tall. That's average. In fact, I think it's closer to almost eight, eight, eight heads tall. And that would be a heroic in size. Now I'm not going to keep the head on there. I'm going to work on the head more next week. I'm just establishing the neck length right now. I wish I was a better artist sometimes. But I'm what I am. As I start flushing this in better, and uh, putting the clothes on them. Now, from what I've seen in movies, and uh, films is uh, he would have wore more of a kind of long shift with a robe on top of it and some wrappings that he would have used as uh, you know bedding at night. He basically carried everything on his back. I 
I'm liking the beard so far. I don't want to make him looking like an old haggled mountain man, but <laughs> he would have been weathered because of uh, the kind of work he did and because of uh, being out in the weather a lot. They uh, had a tendency to walk everywhere and I, I've seen there's a uh, couple that go on little trips in Israel around the country and there's a road between Jerusalem and uh, some other place I can't remember which and let me tell you that was a hard traveling back then by foot through some very dry very rocky landscape He was uh, in his 30s when he was crucified. And at that time, I think 40 was about the average, or 45 was about the average lifespan. If you could make it that far without being killed by the Romans or disease or something else. I mean, they, they were in good shape as far as uh, being able to walk everywhere, but there was a lot of disease and a lot of uh, burst effects. He didn't have them, but a lot of people had them. And, uh, So I'll pick this up on Monday. I'm going to let it sit for the weekend. When I come back, I'll come back to it with fresh eyes and uh, look at it again and see what I need to do to change it. He's a little gaunt right now, and I'm not going to have it that way. I'm going to actually do some filling in right now, in fact. But again, this is my interpretation. It may not be everybody's interpretation of what he looked like. I like the face so far. It's an interesting one. The eyes are going to be very important. I'm going to put a little more of a smile on his face. Try to anyway. Because the message he gave was giving was a joyous message. He was giving people a message that meant their eternal life. All right, I'm getting too deep now. <laughs> Good night, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.